What's good, Team Tommy? Today we got the Larry Bird Ultimate Mixtape. Now, I can't lie, this was actually recommended, or I, I probably wouldn't be watching that. I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm not like a, I'm not a Larry Bird fan, to be completely honest. I mean, I'm, I'm no hate, no disrespect to Larry Bird, but like, I'm not like a, a I'm, I'm, bro, I'm not D riding Larry Bird, bro. I don't, it is what it is. I'm going to keep it a stack. It is what it is. Like, there's, play, there's players I like more, like, I like Shaq. I like, I can't, bro, who, you, a super sleeper, bro. I like Kevin Garnett, bro. I like Kevin Garnett. Bro, I used to like Paul Pierce. But then, like, bro, just over the years, he started falling off for me. For me. Now, he might, you guys still might like him. Somebody might like him still. Not Tommy, I'm going to keep it a stack. Um, regarding Larry Bird, though, I've heard people say he was the first white Mamba. I've heard people say that he would be top three if it wasn't for Michael Jordan just whooping his ass. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I mean, overall, like you hear things like he's a he's a historically great player, but like you're not, bro. People aren't d riding Larry Bird like they d ride Michael, bro. You guys be in my comments, low key, and hurt. I don't even say anything bad about Michael, and then here you go, you guys just start slobbing. Just start slobbing like this. Just start slobbing. So, I mean, like, I mean, obviously, I've heard great things about him, but I, you know what? I'm just yapping, bro. Let's just get into the video. Let's just get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you guys what, though. As a little kid, I was a Celtics fan. Now, I don't really have a team. I really just like players. He was the but I, I did. I used to be a Celtics fan. Larry Bird is one of the biggest trash talkers ever. Larry was basketball genius. Really? A mask of a hick from French Lick <laughs> out as his calling card. And if you believe that for one second, uh, you were going to get beaten. How do you fall from that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you fall from that? 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 I mean, it was a good fake, but like, bro, you're falling down, bro. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I can't lie. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I'll tell you what, though. These these beginning highlights do look nice. They they do look nice. Oh, he did that. See, that was a good fake. He actually like looked back, like, where, where's it going? <laughs> I mean, they're kind of just falling down to fall down. Oh no, that was a good one. That was a good fake. No, that I, I like that. I like that. Get it right here, Ed. I'm gonna shoot it in your face. Damn. He hit it, he looked at me, he was like, damn. <laughs> That's what I just said. But I can't lie, his shot is quick too. I'm just, just looking to see who's gonna finish second. This is a tie for the money. Yo! But he got that old head jumper. He got that old head jumper. Hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Ten thousand dollars. That that's it. But what's 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 the equivalent of ten thousand dollars to today's ten thousand dollars? Cause like, bro, I mean, I'm pretty. How much do players even get paid now for the three point contest? I'm pretty sure it's way more than that. How much do players? Uh, I'll bring it down so you guys can see.
50 bands. That. Damn, so even third place. Damn. Very to very each year. Um, how much is 10k? Eighty six. Damn. So I mean, he's kind of he's almost getting paid like a third place. That's kind of. But how much was the NBA making back then? I don't. They definitely weren't making as much as they make today. But even still, that's kind of like damn. I mean, it's better than absolutely nothing, I guess. It's absolutely unbelievable. Dominique guarded him, Cliff guarded him, Antoine Carr guarded him, my guarded him. Uh, nothing worked. Bird with eight seconds. Bird on the drive. The runner is good again. But his shots are hard to block. Like, you can't block his shots, to be honest. He called it. Uh, he said rainbow uh, trainers last Oh, my God. That was a fade. That was a fader. Sixty points. Or he would do this, and the guy would turn, and he would just fake the crap out of guy. Yeah, see, like that—that that was a good fake. That was a good fake. How big are his hands? I mean, it makes sense as to why Michael was able to palm the ball. More nice the last game of the trip. I'm gonna play this one left-handed, and at the end of three quarters, the next night in Portland, he had 27 points left-handed. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. You got to be hard to be like, yo, I'm not even about to use my right hand this game. I'm about to only use my left hand. That's OD. I'm not ambidextrous or however you say it. I know there are a lot of LeBron's ambidextrous. I don't really care about that anymore. Um, I would assume Michael is the way he's able to go back and forth, to be honest. False. Yeah, I'm not even about to finish what I was about to say. Um, yeah, let's just get back into the video. Oh, wow. Timeout. Did he just catch it? He just kind of alley-oop three. That's an alley-oop three. His body was behind the basket, and he released that left hand shot. Now, his passes are nice. Who's a better passer, uh, Michael? I said Michael, Magic Johnson or uh, Larry Bird. But I can't lie, watching the—I mean, I feel like Magic had a little bit more flair, like a little bit more like, whoa. But like Larry's look a little bit like better. If that makes sense. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at the bench and says, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot." I'm gonna kick it in. The ball looks by one. Aims to bird. He gets a good. But <laughs> that was off one foot. That was off one foot. He would just flick it or tap it or bounce it to a teammate without even catching it. Damn. No, that one was like, whoa. Bro, that was behind the back. Nah, I can't lie. I can't lie. Larry Bird would cook in today's age. He would cook. He would cook. The way he plays, he would be like Luka Doncic, but like a little bit better. Not even a little bit better. He'd be way better than Luka. But Luka be doing stuff that I'm like, whoa, that was kind of wild. Damn. Celtic fans, I think that most of the arena and the Detroit Pistons forgot that 
Larry Bird hadn't quit. One second, damn. Oh, just slammed his face. And on top of all of these accomplishments and all these things he does, Larry Bird plays hurt. Damn, he got a black eye from that? No, it probably it's probably something else. Yeah, they're just showing different like stuff. I was like, damn, he slammed his face hard. Nah, he had that look in his eye. He said, I'm about to cook. He looked like he wanted to say the N-word with hard art. Damn! Nah, he, I can't lie, bro. He's really him. They have different personalities and different backgrounds, but their value system was identical. Oh, my gosh. Bro, his faders are nuts. That was actually insane. That was insane. I, I can only imagine how crazy those games were. Those guys, people were probably like, bro, I can't lie. Like, when I used to be a LeBron fan and I, I was watching, like, uh, him play the Warriors or even, like, the Heat versus uh, the Thunder. Bro, I was sitting there. I was sitting back. I was like, wow, we're low-key, like, witnessing history. Like, no, prime example. prime Because because those weren't, like, I mean, those were, like, whoa. But, like, no, nah, prime example. Bro, watching Tom Brady come back, bro, from certain games. Like, when he came back, bro, the, bro I, I don't even have to explain it any further. You guys already know. Bro, watching Tom Brady, I was literally sitting there like, wow. I'm witnessing history right now. Wow. I I can only imagine those how that's how probably, uh, those games were watching Magic versus Larry. I mean, those are some good games. Those are some good games. He's <coughs> shit. Big yapper Tommy choking on his choking on his yappers. But but you gotta see what I mean. Like Magic had a little bit of extra like flair. Like, if we're talking Madden terms, we call it a spectacular catch. But, like, Larry seems more like, no, Larry's trucking everybody. He's trucking them. <laughs> no, he was running them over. Please welcome now the Irvin Magic Johnson. All right, hold on. Before they keep going now. See, like, I was, I was, what I was trying to say is he had a little bit more, like, bedazzle on it a little bit more bedazzle like it looks a little bit more flashy yeah flashy is the word i was looking for but larry bird looks more like precise and like he, he looks he looks more like so like let's say they're doing a pass like okay he he dude, dude is at in the middle of half court like magic or larry's in the middle of half court <clears throat> and then they're trying to th throw it to the um the right wing Magic going to do some, like, extra, like, but Larry, Larry just going to do, instead of just one, or instead of doing multiple, like, whoa, Larry just going to do one behind the bat, but, like, I mean, it's going to get there, bro. It's going to get there like that, like, 
I don't know, but I mean, at the same time, though, Magic Johnson, like, I'm not trying to take nothing away from Magic Johnson because when Magic Johnson does all the extras, it still gets there like that. So, I mean, bro, like, hey, you, you guys let me know how you feel in the comments. To uh, the greatest basketball player ever, but more important, a friend forever. Huh, so he was calling him the greatest ever? So, is Larry Bird better than Dr. J? Or Wilt? I can't lie, bro. I'm still waiting to see the footage from Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game. You guys had cameras back there. All right, I said back there, back then. And you, bro, I've seen, bro, I've seen Wilt Chamberlain about to fight people. <laughs> but I've seen actually a lot from like the 1950s, 60s, even I've even seen tapes from 1940s. But we still haven't seen that 100 point game. You telling me not one person, bro, not one person in that arena had a camera, bro? My life to basketball. And I dedicated my life to the Boston Celtics. My basketball career is officially over and I had a blast. Tonight I leave you and I say thank you, Boston. Did he literally stay with the Celtics like his entire, entire, entire career? Like never, ever, ever, ever go anywhere else? How old was he when he retired? Spectacular video. I got questions, but spectacular video. Spectacular, I can't cap. Um, how old was Larry Bird when he retired? Thirty-five. Okay. I can't lie. He low-key aged a little bit, like milk. Like, he looks a little older than that, but, like, I mean, no, he didn't age like milk, because this is definitely him old. This is him when he's old, old, and he looks the same, I can't lie. So, like, maybe that's just what he looked like. Um, Oh, how many years is that? One, 13. He only played 13 seasons. You know what, though? Bro, not everybody's playing 13 seasons. Not everybody's even playing 10 seasons. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can't lie. Le LeBron Loki, like, him playing as many seasons as he has is kind of like put certain thing in people's heads. But, like, bro, 13 seasons is a lot. 13 seasons is a lot. You guys want to just look at his stats real quick? For his career, he averaged 24, 10, and 6. I need an ad blocker. Bro, he didn't miss his... He didn't miss a season. Oh, uh, uh, he kind of did at 32. What happened when he was... What happened in the 88-89? He tears ACL? But this is the thing about them back then, too. They were really playing every single game. I mean, granted, now he's like... Bro, even playing 75 games at 33, that's kind of nuts. Nah, this is this is insane. This is insane. But he has one, two, three, four, five. Five seasons averaging over 50%. That's nuts. Oh my god, he never missed a free throw. Early in the career, you were like, okay, he got 10 free throws. He he he, he might miss two. 
But like once he hit this fifth season, oh nah, he was hitting him. He was hitting him. You also got to keep in mind too, but the fouls were different. So like when he was getting fouled and getting sent to the line, but he might be a little discombobulated in his head. He might, he might be a little dizzy heading to the line. Ooh. He was averaging 30? Oh, hold on. This dude was just winning MVP. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, is that fourth place or is that? All right, that's fourth place. That's fourth place. I was like, damn, he just winning. <laughs> Get these ads off. Yeah, it was one. Two, three. Rookie of the year. Who he beat out here? Magic Johnson. Ooh. Was this his rookie year, though? He's only 21. No, I think, I think his rookie year was... 83. I could be wrong. No, I think that was his rookie year. Yeah, that was definitely his rookie year. Damn, Magic. Did you win any? Go to this man. Damn, I'm sorry, guys. I got I got doo-doo Wi-Fi. Doo-doo Wi-Fi. Oh, it's not going to show his whole... Oh, never mind. I'm proud. Now nah, he won a few. One, two, three. Oh, he didn't get rookie of the year, though. Oh, didn't. I'm confused. Was this the same season? Hold on. Bro, it's not even typing. He plays 16. Damn. Three MVPs. Bro, did him and Larry come in at the same time? Really? Hold on. No. Oh, they were one year apart. Oh, oh. I can't lie. This whole time I thought Larry was way older than Magic. So then who beat him? Who beat him out? Bro, it doesn't show. It showed for Larry, but it's not showing for, um. Is it, is that when he won it? Bro, I don't think that's when he won it, bro. Get this. Oh my gosh. As you guys can see, I, I am working on my cursing. I, ha I haven't really said any bad words. Now he beat him. He beat him this season. So I'm confused. So like, was he able to was selected by the Boston Celtics in the 78. However, he opted to return to Indiana State. Oh. So he got drafted by the Celtics, but then went back to play for his senior season. But then he was already drafted to the Celtics. So then he just went straight to the Celtics, and that was his rookie season. Oh. Oh. 
That's kind of cool. We're learning today, Team Tommy. Um, did Magic Johnson play in college? Uh, I spelled that wrong. Well, chat knows what I'm talking about. That, that was kind of fried. I knew he played for Michigan State. This dude be at all the college basketball games. Yeah, that was kind of fried. That was kind of fried. Because there were even times he was talking about uh, Draymond. But you guys think him and Draymond Loki look alike just a tiny bit, just a little bit? <laughs> huh. Well, shit, Team Tommy. Oh, I almost went the whole video, bro. Bro, that's bad. Team Tommy, you got to hold me accountable. You guys think I should react to a Magic Johnson Ultimate Mixtape? I can't lie, bro. After, but like looking at this, bro. You know what? Before before we make a we, before we make our decision, before we say something. Nineteen seven eleven, but I can't lie. I think Larry Bird is better than Magic. Oh, oh, oh. No, nah, I know they were tripping when he came back. They said, whoa, 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 slow your roll, slow your roll. Oh, damn. That's why you're not supposed to have sex before marriage and you're supposed to keep it in your pants when you are married or you get multiple wives. Damn. It'd be like that, though. It'd, de it'd definitely be like that. At least he's still alive. And, uh, and you know what? It did happen for a reason. Now he's an advocate. Now he's an advocate for people that did have it. Because there's some people that don't... There's some people that don't get it from just sleeping around and stuff. There's some people that are born with it. So he he's... It's good that they have somebody like him. Because he was definitely, like, to me, like, just from the outside looking in, he's a great guy. So, like, everything happens for a purpose and for a reason, Team Tommy. I mean, granted, that does suck, but, like... Everything happens for a purpose and for a reason. You guys think I should react to a Magic Johnson ultimate? She let me know in the comments, Team Tommy. Hey, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Love, peace, and chicken grease.